there, it's Professor T. I know you know me by now. I am going to read you one of my favorite books today, which I won't show you yet, because first the important question, how are you? How are you out there? This is not an easy time. If you are a little bit upset, most people are. If you feel sad, you're not alone. If you feel worried, you are not alone. I feel those feelings too. And like I said, art is a place we can put our feelings. And imagination is a way we can think of things that help us to cope with stress. We can imagine another way. I think that's why I've loved art so much all my life. So, you are not alone if this is difficult, okay? I just think that's really important for me to say. And I was thinking, what do I do when I'm the most upset? Especially when I was young, what did I do? I turned on Superman. Superman, a superhero, used to help me get out of my sad moods, my bad moods, and guess what? I have another superhero here, Art Dog. And when I'm sad, when I'm angry, when I feel like this pandemic is going on too long, Art Dog makes me feel better. Let me read you this. Art Dog by Thatcher Hurd. Look at Art Dog's mobile. Art Dog. Looks like a Batmobile, but it's a paintbrush. <laughs> See, we can smile. Arthur Dog was a guard at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. He liked his job. He liked guarding the paintings by Vincent van Dogh and Pablo Poodle, but Leonardo da Vinci was Arthur's favorite painter. Or was it Henry Matisse? Arthur couldn't decide. Arthur Dog. There he is on the job. At night, Arthur came home to his little apartment on West 17th Street, made himself dinner, and read until it was time for bed. Arthur led a quiet life. He seldom went out except on nights when the moon was full. On those nights, Arthur's eyes grew bright and his fur seemed to glisten. He would take out a box he kept in his closet. Put on a hat and mask and tiptoe down the back stairs into the streets of Dogopolis. He crept down an alley and when he was sure no one was around, he unlocked the box, looked out. <gasps> he painted a slash of lightning, a splash of sunset, sunshine, and dozens of glowing lights in the city. He painted monsters 10 feet tall, fish with tails the size of houses, frogs ready to hop over skyscrapers. When he was finished, he crept home a dog alone, wondering if anyone ever noticed his paintings. No one saw him paint or sign his paintings with a splat of his tail and the name Art Dog. No one knew who Art Dog really was. Until one night at the museum, crash, a window was broken, a door was busted, Bring! the alarm went off and footsteps clattered down the alley behind the museum. The police screeched to the scene of the crime. The director of the museum was not far behind. Yikes! 
The Mona Woofa's gone, cried the museum director. Look what they left instead of a Leonardo da Vinci. Is this art? Looks like a Mona Lou to me, said the chief of police. The paint's still wet, said the museum director. Find me the culprit, barked the chief of police. They nabbed the first dog they found in the alley. His eyes had a certain glow to them, and his fur seemed to glisten in the moonlight. He also had a paintbrush on his paw. Book him, said the chief of police. They threw him in jail, but... When no one was looking, he pulled out a brush and a tube of paint and painted a ladder. He climbed up the ladder and where there were bars, he painted a window and jumped out. Back into the streets of Dogopolis. Then he put his nose in the air. What was he sniffing? Suddenly he took out his brush and his paints, zip, splash, smush. He painted himself a brush mobile with his name on the side. Hmm. He whizzed over to Acme Paint Alley to fill up his paint. Then off he roared into the night over highways and bridges through the park and past the ballet, leaving a trail of paint behind him as he went. He slammed on the brakes in front of a deserted warehouse. He sniffed, he tiptoed, he looked inside. Three nasty looking mutts were get ready, getting ready to ship something to a distant port. He took a closer look. It was Mona. Yikes. The mutts turned around. Hey, what are you doing here? Said the biggest mutt. Gosh, I er uh, must have made a wrong, wrong term, said Art Dog. You can say that again, said the mutts. It looked like big trouble for Art Dog. There was only one thing left to do. <laughs> no words on this page. What can he do? What a master, masterpiece, not masterpiece. Wow, said the chief of belief as he arrived with a museum director. How did you know where the Mona was? Art Dog wiggled his nose. I can smell art a mile away. The director of the museum said, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Art Dog, said Art Dog, pointing to his brush mobile. Art Dog, I like the way you paint. How about a show at the museum? Sure thing, said Art Dog, as he sped away in his brush mobile. <laughs> Soon it was the night for Art Dog's show at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. Everyone stood around and slipped, sipped root beer as they waited to meet Art Dog and see his paintings. But where was he? Where were his paintings? And for that matter, wondered the museum director, where's Arthur? He should be on the job tonight. Suddenly, there was a sound. Everyone rushed outside just in time to see. I'll show you before I read. dog high in the sky finishing his masterpiece City Rhapsody. Everyone was amazed and speechless. Then suddenly he was gone. Who was Art Dog? Who was the painter in a brushmobile, catcher of crooks, bringer of light to the Dogopolis night? Who was he?
No one knew. The end. So you see why a superhero is a great way to make us feel better. Arthur was art dog at night. What I wanted to show you was who is the Leonardo dog Vinci? <laughs> the paintings that look like Leonardo da Vinci but have dogs in them instead. Did you notice that? Everything is for dogs, but this author, Thatcher Hurd, knows about Leonardo da Vinci. Another thing I noticed, I don't know if you noticed, did you see this page? Thatcher Hurd made this beautiful painting in the sky and I wonder if you know who that painting looks like. Whose work does that look like? If you've been following me, you know this Starry Night looks like Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. So even though this is a town all about dogs, Dogopolis, the art has something to do with art history and some of the paintings we've been talking about. So I think that's really cool. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. The next time we meet, we will be making art again. Have a great afternoon and goodbye.